hello guys welcome to my youtube channel and uh, today uh, we will be understanding with uh, the concepts of descriptive statistics so basically we will be studying with a uh, measure of central tendency today okay like uh, some part of it and we will try to understand it in brief okay so what is measure of central tendency so it basically tends to measure some of the aspects like mean median and mood okay so uh, you have everybody like everybody has learned about what is mean right so basically it is also known as arithmetic mean generally known as average so it is broadly used to measure or to describe a population using a single value okay so arithmetic mean is a measure which is used for numeric data and is a single value that represents the typical value in the given set of numbers so for example you can consider that mean marks of the class of 70 class is 70 out of 100 that means uh, the mean of 100 students is 70 okay so uh, here are some of the examples you can read it and the formula of arithmetic mean is sum of values in the data set upon the number of values that is uh, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 up till n upon the number of terms okay so there are some other types of mean known as weighted mean okay so it is used when some values in the data set contribute more than others okay and then uh, the geometric mean is used while finding the average of numbers that re represent growth rate okay and harmonic mean is better estimate of the average of data in situations where the data represents rates or ratios like uh, speed per kilometer hour and heart rates frequency etc okay so this is about the mean okay so we will un understand with the problem statement uh, the mean uh, and the median together okay so that uh, you will understand it better so the presence of extreme values in the data set usually large or small uh, will affect the mean or the average but in case of median it won't affect because median is the center value you can consider that means uh, it first sorts the data in ascending order and then it considers the central value as the median okay so it is another measure of central tendency so is generally the preferred value in the such cases okay so why uh, median is the value that lies at the center of the data set when data is ordered okay so ordered is very important in case of median so median divides data into equal halves when the data is sorted okay so how you can find the median for odd numbers the median is directly the center value and for even numbers uh, you uh, take the average of two of the middle values okay so for example uh, let's go to the notepad okay so that you understand yeah so uh, in case of um, mean okay so if you calculate 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 that is 4 plus 3 7 8 9 10 plus or 20 if you consider and divide it by so what is this 4 plus 3 7 8 9 10 10 plus 20 is 30 30 divided by 1 2 3 4 5 it is 5 right so your mean comes out to be 6 right but in case of median what happens is you will first sort the data so data uh, itself is in ascending order now okay so what will happen here 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 and plus 20 right so it 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 won't divide it will directly give you the middle value that means 1 2 3 so 3 is the middle term out of 5 right so here mean is sorry median is 3 okay and if you get uh, some one more ma value here uh, suppose say 5 plus 20 now the median will be uh, 3 plus 4 7 7 divided by 2 is how much uh, 7 divided by 2 so it comes out to be 2 is a 6.5 right so it is 3.5 for uh, even okay even median okay and this is uh, odd median odd median is 3 and even median is 3.5 okay so it won't be affected with 20 okay 
and here it is 6 so it is largely affected by the value 20 here okay so that's why we consider median in case of solving the data sets okay so that was about the median and the last one is on the mode okay so what is mode here uh, so basically what happens here in the mode is uh, it it works on categorical value that means here you can see asthma appears to be 30 times dengue appears in the data data set 75 times uh, and similarly the other diseases okay so in such scenario uh, the malaria is considered to be the mode that is it occurs 80 times uh, it is more than other things okay so there can be one or two number of modes in the data set so in this in this scenario dengue and malaria, malaria has no much difference so both malaria and dengue can be considered as mode okay so these three things are uh, the measures of central tendency okay so in the next lecture we'll study about measure of dispersion okay so if you learned something from this video do hit the subscribe button until then take care bye bye